Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the cognizant recent interview experience for the python cluster and I will discuss you about the superset logo plus cognizant logo. Uh, we are going to discuss whether it is important or not. So try to watch this video till the end and uh, I will give the timeline in the video description if you want any particular topic based on your convenience you can watch that. First let us see the first python cluster what are the questions they are asking. So the cognizant is hiring for the different categories for like pa java, python and c sharp cluster. If you are from the python cluster most of the technical questions will be around core python concept problem solving using python and sometimes a uh, SQL or ops concept. So if you are preparing for Python, make sure you just not le learn any syntax but also focus on writing clean, optimized code and logical code. Then the person faced the questions like what are the Python data types? Next difference between the list, tuple and set. So these questions were repeated from the previous year like 2025 students also faced these questions. How the python memory managed, what are the dictators and generators, explain the inheritance and polymorphism. When they are asking questions in the oops concept, you should explain with an example. For example, if you take the inheritance concept, you should explain things like if it is a parent class, the properties will be inherited to the child class and you have to give some real time example. Next, they ask the questions like a given example for the abstraction in python next coming to the coding question the person have faced like python program to check whether the string in a palindrome so they will instruct you some things like do not use any inbuilt function for example in python we can see more inbuilt function while you are giving coding interview to any other companies for particularly CTS they will warn you at first itself do not use any inbuilt function you have to write your own code without the inbuilt function so the next question is write a functions to remove the duplicates from your list so they basically they will ask you two coding questions in the two coding question you should generate an output so if you generated two coding questions given to you and you got an output there will be high chance of getting selected in the interview let me tell you some important tips regarding that superset compiler so you basically attend interview in the superset in that uh, when you are in the interview you will be get one call from your interviewer in the superset platform itself once you attend the call in your laptop it will navigate into your screen like you will have your compiler in the uh, right side uh, you will uh, see your interview face uh, and your screen will be automatically shared so many people is asking that uh, should we need to write a code in the notepad or they uh, will ask you to share a screen so the superset will, will handle everything one drawback of the compiler is uh, if you are doing any mistake in the specific line the compiler won't show any specific error for example in the line 23 you miss a semicolon means uh, it does not display an output and it does not show the error messages. Solution for this problem is only you need to practice your code too much and one more thing is you should analyze your own error. The super compiler won't help you. Then we will discuss about the SQL question that is asked in the python cluster. The person have got the interview questions based on SQLS. What are the different types of joins? You need to explain the each joins and specifically they, they have asked like uh, what is an outer joint and inner join and they will ask you to write a syntax for that. You need to see the basic thing that is in the SQL. Next, if you are preparing for the project questions, next you have to explain what are the libraries you have used why you choose python and the challenges you faced and how you solve this you need to practice answer for these kind of questions then coming to the hr interview they will ask you two question majorly are you flexible to work in any location next can you work in any technologies these are the two major hacha questions that will be asked in the cognizant side and if the interviewer is asking you any questions like do you have any questions to ask you should use this opportunities like ask questions like 
how will be our training period what we will learn or like uh, how month will be a training and when will be the result will be declared or something you should ask to them uh. one more thing we need to discuss is many people asking that how we should present the project uh. for example one major question is uh, students have been asked this uh, should we use to show the live project they don't majorly ask you the live project you just need to explain the project what is the purpose of a project why you made the project what are the tools and the libraries you have used this is far enough they don't majorly ask the live coding of the project and you don't need to lively share the project if you are preparing for the python cluster you need to know one thing just page just revise the basic python things next short coding question they are not going to ask you dsa level questions so it going to be easy coding questions next you should be clear in the oops concept and sql queries so basically some queries like uh, find the second employee salary or third employee salary you should uh, see this two kind of query and based on questions is mostly based on joins next uh, you should explain your project very well one more thing is we are having on pdf in that you can find the all java python and c sharp cluster questions 30 theory questions and 30 plus coding question will be there in this pdf and many people have shared the feedback after the interview the pdf questions are always repeated and thanks for the people who have shared the interview experience plus our uh, pdf uh, feedback and i will attach the feedback a uh, screenshot also uh here it will cover every basic questions and coding questions one more thing is if you buy this pdf in the second pdf you will get the interview experience of a people from the previous year like april to july and here 2026 batch interview is also added if you are from any cluster you will get all the questions here like for java python c sharp both theory and coding question is included and the interview experience all the cluster have been shared the pdf will cost you around only 39 rupees only for the first 100 people we already gave a discount for the first 50 people after the 100 people have purchased this pdf the pdf will uh, price will be automatically changed to 89 rupees so as soon as possible grab this pdf next we will discuss about the superset logo thing so once you completed your interview you need to stay in the superset uh, website once you given the uh, once you got the completed mail only you have to leave that pa- platform so there will be three cases uh, some getting the plain text after the interview so as per the 2025 and 2024 students if you got the plain text in the interview mail uh, there will be a very less chance of getting the interview results we usually see that as a rejection one more thing is super set plus logo once you got super set plus logo you will definitely get an loi and offer letter from the cognizant side and here the spe- cases uh, some of our students are getting only the super set logo so this thing has not happened in the 2025 and 2024 batch so let us wait for the official uh, result from the cognizant side for this things uh, because we cannot uh, say whether the super set logo only got students have uh, get uh, interview results or selections or not so if you got super set logo plus cognizant logo it means 100% selection i will show the screenshot of all this uh, cases and uh, i will also share the 2025 batch students logo also. that's all i need to discuss in this video if you want uh, any other cluster detailed video like how to prepare for java python and c sharp comment down and uh, join our 2026 batch telegram channel and tell me what are the on campus companies you are getting like we are planning video for the infosys system engineer so if you comment down only we can decide whether we have to prepare video regarding that or not next lnt mindry some of them having ai bot interview so uh, we all also having resources regarding that if anyone need it please comment down uh, thanks for watching and do mention your recent cognizant experience or when you are going to give interview for the cognizant thanks for watching do subscribe for the valuable information
like this video and share to the friends who are going to give interview in the python cluster we'll see you in the next video